This is Share the Vision, presented by the Resource Center, a discussion of the programs and services of the Resource Center and about issues related to individuals with disabilities. You hear the crowd behind me already. Welcome to the Michael Raymond Center, Jones and Gifford Avenue in Jamestown, where the 22nd Annual Laurel Run is about to get underway. Steve Watterson is stepping to the microphone now. He's about to begin the ceremony here to start Laurel Run. This is a significant 22nd Annual Laurel Run, but the first without Laurel hoteling. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the 22nd Annual Laurel Memorial Run and Walk. Thank you guys for taking time to come out here and join us. We're going to try to move things along quickly because we've got an appointment to keep to get up to Dunkirk for our big victory celebration. First off, I would like to introduce our state senator, Kathy Young. Thank you and good morning. morning. What a beautiful day. And is everybody pumped up about this event? I know that you are. First of all, I want to say congratulations because I heard there's some special news and that the Resource Center, second year in a row they've taken this title, Healthiest Workplace in All of Western New York. That's awesome. And that's a tribute to the leadership, to Denise and the entire leadership team, but most of all, it's a tribute to all the staff. Oh, wait, tell me three years in a row. I heard two. Actually, third year in a row. That's even more awesome, isn't it? So, congratulations to everybody for making that happen. You know, I really wanted to be here today to thank so many people. And I know today is a very poignant day. Uh, This is the first year that we've had this event since we lost Laurel. Now it's a memorial event. And I want to give my love especially to Wayne and Elaine Hodling who have been such ardent supporters of people with disabilities, the Resource Center, some of the best parents you could ever ask for. And I know Laurel always felt so much love from her family, and she loved her family back. She actually loved everybody. There was nothing like a hug from Laurel, right? Am I right about that? And she really was so proud of the fact that she was such an effective advocate for people with disabilities. And that's what this event is all about. So I know today is a special day because you know what? We are celebrating Laurel today. Am I right about that? We are celebrating her. And all of the joy that she brought into so many lives. And that is a legacy that is going to be everlasting. So I'm glad that we're here to celebrate Laurel, her advocacy, her love of life, her enthusiasm, her real joy in earning a paycheck because she always was such an advocate to let people know how important it is that people with disabilities have work opportunities, have recreational opportunities, housing opportunities, every opportunity that everyone else in the world has. And Laurel was out front on that always. So we love her. She's been an inspiration to so many people. So I just want to say to you, everyone at the Resource Center, whether you're staff, whether you're a participant, whether you're a supporter, whoever you are, this is a really special place. And thank you so much because you are helping change so many lives every single day and you should be very 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 proud of that fact i'm grateful for all that you do every single day this is a first class operation so many dedicated people and uh so let's go out let's have fun and let's celebrate laurel we love you so thank you so much Thank you, Senator. That was lovely. Next up, we would like to introduce our Assemblyman, Andy Goodell. Well, good morning, everybody, and it's great to be here for another Laurel Run. And what this event symbolizes to me is what a difference uh, dedicated people can make. 
in the lives of others. And in honor of Laura, I am actually going to be joining the runners today. Uh, but once we get outside, you're on your own. <laughs> Keep on the great work to all the resource staff. Uh, what a great event and what a great honor. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Next up, our county executive, George Borello. Uh, George, we did a newspaper sale two weeks ago, and George was out there at 6 in the morning selling papers on the street corner in Silver Creek. So thank you very much, celebrity newspaper seller, our county executive, George Borello. Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much. Yes, selling the papers was an amazing event. Uh, standing in the middle of a busy highway, trying not to get hit, is a challenge in itself. But uh, it was an amazing effort. Uh, it was a record year, Wayne told me, which I'm, I'm happy that that occurred, and we raised a lot of great money. Um, being from Silver Creek, this is especially special for me to be here and to participate in this. Uh, I participated in the Laurel Run, the walk part, uh, for the last several years, and uh, it's really been uh, an amazing community event. And Laurel's life, it was special because it had meaning and it had purpose. And what she did had an impact on so many people. Her life was impacting so many people with special needs, so many people like us, to better understand those things. And the money that was raised that has helped so many people over the years has made a difference in the lives of literally thousands of people. There is a legacy that cannot be matched. Thank you very much, Wayne and Elaine, and thank you, Laurel, for all that you've done to make things special here in Chautauqua County. Thank you very much, George. Uh, next up, representing Governor Andrew Cuomo, is Lori Cornell, the Southern Tier Representative. Thank you so much, Steve, and, and thank you, Resource Center. Of all the wonderful events and happenings in our community across Chautauqua County and across the entire region in the Southern Tier, I think uh, we are all very, very proud, especially of this one. And uh, I have to give a shout out because one of the things that makes this event so special every year is the outpouring of the community and how many folks really get behind it. So I have to give a shout out to the Maple Grove Cross Country team back there. And all the young and old runners alike who join in this effort and are about to embark on, I heard, as many as 12, 14 miles today. So I'm with our assemblyman. Count me out. I'll, I'll run you to the door. But uh, my, I'm a little biased. My two sons run from Maple Grove. So thank you, Coach Madison. Thank you, cross-country runners and everyone here today. The governor sent a, a special letter um, to the hoteling family and the Resource Center. And I'm not going to read the entire letter, but I do want to read a few sentences that pay a, a special tribute to Laurel. I know she's in all of our hearts and will continue to be a strong example, not just here in Chautauqua County, but across the entire state of what we all can achieve as individuals who are bound and determined to overcome whatever challenges in life we face. And so uh, I'll just read a few words. For two days you come together as a community in a tremendous outpouring of support for disabilities awareness and for the hoteling family who lost their beloved Laurel last November, the eldest daughter of Wayne and Elaine Hoteling, was an inspiration for today's events. Laurel demonstrated a fierce perseverance determination to overcome obstacles, and she taught and influenced so many through working through their own tough medical challenges. Laurel's presence will be very much missed, but her spirit lives on in this extraordinary initiative. Once again, congratulations, and I'm so honored to be a part. Thank you on behalf of our government. Thank you very much, Laurel. Oh, you want to get the book on? Some other people we want to recognize who are here, if you just want to raise your hand as I say your name, uh, County Legislator Lisa Banstrom. Yeah. Are there any other elected officials or their representatives who we missed? Okay. Our Executive Director Denise Jones is right here. We wouldn't be doing Loyal Run without support of a lot of sponsors, and one of our major sponsors every year is Independent Health, and Jim Kress from Independent Health is here, so Jim, thank you. 
There are a lot of other things that go along with Laura Run. For about 15 years, uh, Quickfill has sold some paper sneakers uh, that people can go in and buy and write their name on it saying they support Laura Run. We split the monies that we raise with uh, Warren County, Pennsylvania, an organization there called Bollinger Enterprises, and their executive director, Dr. William Clark, is in the back, joining us again this year, so thank you. And we would be remiss if we didn't give a shout out to the people that put on this breakfast every year. It's Robin Kessler and the staff and service recipients in the Future Strivers Room who take care of us every year. They also make the medals that people up in Silver Creek receive when they cross the finish line. And this year, all those medals will have a photo of Laurel on them. So if you were on the fence about whether you're going to come to Silver Creek tomorrow, there's your incentive to get up there. We've got to get this relay rolling soon, so I do want to have Wayne Hotelling come on up. He's Laurel's dad. Uh, one of the things that Elaine and I have always been thankful for is the training that Laurel received in the early years, and that was here at the Resource Center. We were looking for help, and uh, we found it here, and as a result of that, Laurel was able to become the person that uh, she was. And uh, she still is here in spirit with all of us. And she's been an, an example, an advocate. And this is one thing that all of us still need to do. But I think more important than anything else is the staff that we have here, both in the north and the south that provide the training for other people. Laurel Run was set up to be about Laurel and her friends. One of the things that Elaine and I wanted to do was to have a special inclusion of young people. And that's where the relay came from. And that's where the students from Maple Grove, from Silver Creek, from Fredonia, from Frewsburg, from all over Chautauqua County. They're the ones that carry the flag from Jamestown to Dunkirk to show the unity of this community. Elaine and I are very, very thankful for all the support that you have given to the Resource Center. I would like to say that uh, our little girl grew into a young lady and showed such courage in battling her medical problems that she had, but she was always upbeat. There is no other person in the world that's taught me more about life than our daughter Laurel. And uh, I want to thank her for the time that she spent with us. We were blessed to have her, and we still have her here. If you take a look at the symbol, the wings are for the angel. And she was always an angel in the uh, Christmas play. And it wasn't for just a few years, it was for about 40. And she always wore, she always wore her wings, and she was there. When there were songs to be sung, she was one of the ones that was the loudest. It was Laurel One Note, it was always right here. <laughs> but she put her all into the things that she did, whether it was her work, whether it was uh, letting her uh, siblings know that she was the oldest, whatever, and the courage that she had and the influence that she showed, I think, is something that uh, we all can learn from. We thank you for being here with us this morning, and we hope that you will continue to support the Resource Center and that you would also support all of the people involved. What a change. What was it? Starbucks just opened a, uh, one of their plants there. And what it is, it's about signing for people that have difficulties, OK? And w where was that? 50 years ago. There was nothing like that. There have been great strides that have been made in every area. But we need to keep working for it, and we need to advocate more, each and every one of us. Laurel might be physically gone with us, 
but her spirit can always be with us if we advocate. Please advocate for Laurel. Thank you. Thanks, Wayne. Beautiful. If I could have everybody who's going to be starting off here starting the uh, relay run or the bike ride, come on up front, please. I'm not going to make you speak. <laughs> come on up. Get a little, get your moment in the sun. We've got some folks from the Resource Center. We've got a former TRC employee. We've got people from Silver Creek who are riding their bikes up there. Well, look at this maple grove through. Thank you, guys. So drink it in. They're doing the hard work today, okay? So vicariously, you can live through them. All right, but how about a round of applause for these guys? We're going to squeeze in for a good picture. Once Jane gets her picture, we're going to go out front. We're going to walk up the street to, uh, walk up the sidewalk to 8th Street. And then we're going to wave goodbye to them, okay? So thank you guys very much. Have an awesome day. Thanks for coming out, and uh, we hope we'll see you along the way. Take care. Thank you. Steve Watterson, one moment here. There are a couple of people at the head end of this run who've been here almost every year. Who are those people? Bruce Main, who's a longtime TRC employee and also a member of the Laurel Run Planning Committee. He's going to be starting off, and Bruce will be with us the rest of the way to fill in for any, uh, any legs that there aren't people at. Heather Courtney is another employee who's running today. Krista McKenzie, this is her first time. And then a former employee, Marla Gressley came back last year with her dog and ran. She decided this year she'd leave the dog home because it's a little bit too hot out. But she came back to uh, run the, the start of the relay with us. So it's going to be great. We have no rain. It's going to get a little warm, but I think we'll be all right. We'll catch up with you in Silver Creek okay. on Saturday. Do you have one minute uh, uh, just to give me a, a sense on behalf of the executive director of the Resource Center of this moment, uh, the start of this Laurel run this year? Well, of course, our hearts are heavy that Laurel is not here with us. I mean, she was just such an inspiration to all of us, just such a loving, kind spirit. I know she's smiling down on us at this point. Her parents have just been such huge advocates and so involved as volunteers for this organization. So it's an exciting time for us. I always look forward to Laurel Run, and this year is no exception to that. Denise, thank you for your moment. The crowd has gathered outside, as Steve suggested, brilliant sun here on Jones and Gifford Avenue. Some runners from Maple Grove are beginning to uh, separate the flags that were handed to them in a bunch so that they can start this relay. All right, where's our leader? Bruce just went back there. Well, we're not going to wait for him. Let's roll. Come on, guys. Let's go. Marla, may I have one moment? Yes, you may. Watch the traffic here. Big sign here says, go, 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 Laurel Runners. High five. Marla Grusley, having been at the head end of this run so many times over the years, your sense of it this particular year? Well, I'm, I, it's, always, it's always fun to run this race. I'm not a Resource Center employee any longer. I've been gone for three years, but I do come back and run. I was sorry to hear about Laurel's passing last fall, but I was just speaking with her father earlier who said, you know, her legacy, though she's gone, the legacy will continue. And, you know, it's nice to see so many people here for the, for the turnout. Thank you for coming, and have a great day out there. Thank you. Hello there. Bruce Main, a moment for you as we start this Laurel run. Yes, sir. So many times over the years. 2022, yeah. But very different this year. Just your feeling of this as you begin to uh, prepare to kick off at the intersection of 8th and Fairmount. As always, I always look forward to this 
this moment and this day it's just means so much and then like Mo- maple grove is here oh marla gressley there she is <laughs> She was um, behind a little bit there. I just smoked her. She's getting ahead of the pack yeah. now. She, I, yeah, a little, she's a cheater from way back. <laughs> it's a little competitive thing going on between the two of you here, huh? Yeah. But uh, Maple Grove, I mean, they're here in force. I mean, there to be at least 15 or more. Yeah. Well, and that's great because these young runners on this warm summer day will yeah. be able to keep the momentum up. Well... We'll, we can watch them from a distance. I'm sure they'll be a little ahead of us. <laughs> well, Bruce, thanks for your time. Thank you. Good luck today. Could I get a Maple Grove runner to talk to me for a second? What is your name? Kristen Kellerman. Say it again. Kristen Kellerman. Okay. Kristen, have you done this relay before? Yes, I am... A- going to be a senior in the fall and I've done it since seventh grade. So this is kind of a return engagement for you yes. but your, your sense of the poignancy of this moment uh, because it's the first Laurel run without Laurel. Yeah it's definitely going to be very different. We usually always saw her face at the beginning and then throughout the relay but it's going to be good to run it in memory of her and she'll be here with us in spirit. How much will you run today? Um, I'm going to be running five miles with the rest of the girls Maple Grove cross country team and then the boys team is going to be doing a few more. So is this uh, difficult to do in this heat to run five miles? I mean it's not going to necessarily be super easy but it'll be doable and to know the sacrifices that other people have made for this helps us get through it. You are very articulate. What year will you be in school in the fall? A senior. Well, best of luck to you, and thank you for coming to run the Laurel Run Relay. Thank you. That was very nicely done. Thanks. All right, are you guys ready? Yes. All right, go. Go. And there it is. Steve Watterson gives the signal. Police car has gone ahead. The Maple Grove runners have taken off. And Laurel Run 22 is underway. The relay today from Jamestown to Dunkirk. All the events Saturday as you hear this in Silver Creek. And a Jamestown McAdam truck coming by immediately thereafter. But Laurel Run has begun. That was how it started yesterday at the Raymond Center in Jamestown. The Silver Creek events for the 22nd annual Laurel Run have now concluded. And Steve Watterson joins us on the line from Silver Creek right now. Steve, good morning. Hi, Dennis. How's everything there? How did it go today? Oh, it was fantastic. You know, in terms of weather, we had some cloud cover all morning and a nice breeze. So the runners and walkers really appreciated not having uh, the sun beating down on them and uh, heat and humidity. So we had a great turnout. We just finished up about... uh, Oh, half an hour ago with the award ceremony um, for our eight-kilometer run. Uh, the, we had repeat winners for the third year. Uh, Ray Graff from Silver Creek uh, has won the men's title the last three years, and now Kim Vona won her third year in road. I think she's won six overall. So um, some familiar faces, and uh, just a great turnout today. A lot of people uh, showing up who hadn't been here either before or in a while but wanted to make sure they came back to show their support for Wayne and Elaine in memory of Laurel. That's what I was going to ask you about, because this is so poignant, all of what has happened this year for Laurel Run after Laurel's death last November. And we felt it Friday at uh, the Raymond Center in Jamestown. It sounds like you very much felt it and experienced it today in Silver Creek. Oh, absolutely. You know, as, as you're aware, the this year's uh, shirts uh, for Laurel Run had Laurel's picture on the back. So that was a uh, a visual reminder. And then, um, you know, as we've probably talked about before, the iconic image of Laurel at Laurel Run is Laurel on her three-wheeled cycle. And when I arrived here at 6 o'clock this morning to start setting up, Wayne had put Laurel's uh, cycle out in front of uh, the backline building uh, where we uh, where we hold all the uh, ceremonies and events. And so right now I'm, uh, I'm standing next to Laurel's cycle. So, uh, you know, she is here in spirit. As uh, John Graham from the Resource Center, you know, John has uh, sung the uh, national anthem for, I think, 18 years that we've been doing this. And someone told me that as John was singing the national anthem, an eagle was flying overhead. So it's a, 
A lot of little symbols and a very uh, emotional and meaningful day for everybody. And how are Wayne and Elaine considering the journey that they have been on since last November when they lost Laurel? They are doing very well. You know, yesterday was warm. It was a long day for us. I mean, Wayne and Elaine and I were dragging by the end of the day after the relay ended and then getting things set up here in Silver Creek. But I think they were uh, definitely... Uh, buoyed by the turnout of uh, families, friends, and well-wishers today, and um, very much uh, uh, gratified to see the support that uh, the community has been showing for uh, them and for Laurel, and um, looking to keep it going uh, forever and ever. Laurel's lap, that final lap around the track there in Silver Creek, has always been very emotional, I bet, ten times the usual today. Absolutely. I think we may have had the largest turnout for uh, for Laurel's Legacy Lab. We get a lot of individuals who come from the resource centers, homes, uh, come out, and then uh, People, Inc. Uh, has a large presence here in the Silver Creek area, and they had dozens of folks out doing the, the Laurel's Legacy Lab. Too. So I saw some people today that I had not seen in uh, several years, and it was great to see them back again. The proceeds from all of the events that make up Laurel Run flow to what cause, Steve Watterson? Well, they go to uh, Filling the Gap, which is a not-for-profit organization that works with the Resource Center to support people with disabilities in Chautauqua County. And then that money uh, gets funneled over to our Laurel, the Resource Center's Laurel Run Fund at Chautauqua Region Community Foundation. And then eventually those monies will come, some of those monies will come back to uh, support this, uh, support uh, employment and work training programs and opportunities for the people with disabilities who the Resource Center supports. It has been a momentous Laurel Run for this 22nd of these events. And, Steve, I want to thank you and please express my appreciation to Wayne and Elaine as well for all the time that they have given us in promoting this event through Share the Vision and for your efforts yesterday and today as well. Oh, I will, Dennis, and thank you so much for all the support you give us on the radio and uh, uh, in spirit. I know this is very emotional for you as well, um, and we you know, appreciate all the help you give us in promoting this event to the community so people know what's going on. Have a great remainder of the day, and thank you for sharing the vision today. Thanks, Dennis.